wanted to do a little bit more of an in-depth review on all about spelling. I have three boys that homeschool and we've been homeschooling for six years. We've been using all about spelling for most of that time. Um, my middle son has sensory processing, so all about spelling worked really well for him. And then I just decided to use it for all of them. So the ones we have used are all about spelling one, two, three, and four. If you're interested in learning more about it and a little bit more of an in-depth review, stay tuned. Okay guys, so in front of me I have books one, two, and three of All About Spelling. They don't match grade level. They can. Um, but honestly, they recommend that even if you start them in All About Spelling in fourth grade, you still go back and start with book one. And they will just race through it way faster is the difference. I would guess like my first grader, uh, my son when he was in first grade, he went through books one and two. My middle son has sensory processing, and so he suffers a lot with um, getting words from brain to paper, and so he took a little longer. My oldest son, could he went through three books, I think, in one year, and he hasn't done it in a long time. So here is book one, and what it looks like is inside, sorry, you can tell my one of my kids at preschool got into this one. This is preparing for level one, and it tells you as the teacher everything you need to know and explaining how you're going to teach this program. There is definitely a way the thing with this program is they use tiles, they use flashcards, they use writing, and that's supposed to be what helps them as they're getting all different kinds of learning. Um, it works in phonograms. So every spelling list um, definitely has a reason for it. So it'll be, you know, silent E or OA words. And then here is, so this is lesson one. It tells you as a teacher exactly what you need to say. It tells you which phonogram cards to pull out. So you would pull out these cards, you'd go over them with them, you would read. It even tells you down to hold up a card and say, can you tell me what sound or sounds this letter makes? It gives you little tips. And then over here, it tells you how to know if they've mastered that card because one thing with this program is you don't really move on unless they have the list mastered and you keep doing it until you feel that they've mastered it. That's why my older son raced through these. My middle son took a lot longer and my second grader will race, probably race through them also. Well, no, he'll probably be about more like normal speed. My older son raced through them because we started him on this in like fourth grade. So that's why he was able to really race through them. My second grader, or my current seventh grader, when we did it back in second, third grade with him, he definitely took a lot longer, and that was okay, and that's why we liked this program. This teaches you how to teach the phonograms. There's a progress chart that will come with it so the kids can put stickers to know how they did to reinforce it. Here is number two. I don't mind the writing on it. So number two, lesson two shows a little more what it's like. It gives you... New teach the new word you're teaching. It practices a little on the sounds from the last lesson. There'll be words um, you'll practice writing them. You'll practice um, letter tiles, which I'll show you those in a minute. And they will practice spelling them with tiles. They'll practice writing them out. They'll practice writing them in sentences. And once they know and really have a grasp of every all the words for that lesson, then it's okay to move on. Okay, so like let's skip to farther back because this is when the lessons are more, you know, the first ones are set up a little bit differently. So this one you're teaching compound words, tells you everything to do, what, what cards to get out because there are phonogram cards, sound cards, key cards, and word cards, and they're color coded. And then over here is the main... Um, Spelling words. Those are the ones that you really want them to master before they move on. Down here is just if they're struggling, this is some more um, words they can practice with to help them. And then over here is where they dictate a phrase. So you would read it to them and they would write it. And that is level one. Level two. Looks like this and as we get through it you can see this is way into it it does 
the same things and it really explains what to do. You need to spell it with tiles. It's, this one is teaching the difference between a hard C and a soft C. This helped my son so much with spelling and reading. And then level three. open it halfway. Now they're dictating sentences. I believe they're dictating sentences in um, number two also. And this is a writing station where you tell them the words and you just have them write it and use it in a sentence. This they're actually um, copying the sentence you told them and let's go back a little. So there's the new words and let's find the start of another lesson. Here's Lesson eight tells you everything to say and do. Tells you to have them dictate the following words. Literally, it tells you phrase for phrase and word for word how to teach it and explain it to them. And you can just open this book as you go along. So next, I'm going to show you the actual um, hands-on stuff that comes with it like a mess but here's an example of what a sound card looks like there's nothing on the back and here's an example of a phone phonogram card I want to make sure I grab from the front so I can put it back in the right spot and these are for level one so this is just level one starts out literally at the sounds of each letter on the back it tells you so these are basically the very first cards are like sound um, just learning the alphabet and the sounds that's why my older son raced through it but it doesn't that's that's just at the very beginning it's almost kind of like a review and then this is a key card where you can ask them a question the vowels are and then they will fill in the blanks and there's the answer for you when you're telling it to them and then the important ones, which is the actual word cards. So if there's 10 words for that week, you would pull these out and you can use them for flashcards. The other thing that comes with it is letter tiles and you just use a magnetic board and you have them spell with the tiles. And the other thing that comes with it is a word jail and that's for words that don't um, fit rules and you every time you run into one of those words you put it in a word jail and you hang it on the wall one thing i would recommend getting <clears throat> if you use this program is something like this to hold the cards in and this it comes with these to separate them so then you know which ones they've mastered which ones you need to continue working on and you can divide them up in here all ready to go so if you have any questions about All About Spelling, I would love to hear them and I'll try and get back to and answer them. If you've used it, let me know how you liked it and how it worked for your child. Thanks for watching.